What's good everybody? This is Lilith and Feel Good Threads. Today I'm going to be making these Michael Jackson bags. These companies trying to sell me like I'm Barristan. Start with my craft, get it ghost like Kerrigan. There is no comparison, first gen American. We on the same side, Reggie Wayne, Marvin Harrison. I'm a young. Alright, guys, so we're back again with another tutorial, and today I've got a pair of Minion Space Jams right here, as you guys can see. They're perfectly brand new and they're ready to get decked out. I can't believe I'm about to do this to a pair of Space Jams, but. Um, let me tell you guys a little bit about what we're gonna do today. So before I even start anything up, guys, I wanna give my, my boy uh, Bruce Jackson a quick shout out. Bruce, thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you for helping me out with this custom because I have no clue what I'm doing here, guys. Completely zero, zilch, nada. So uh, Bruce, I appreciate you. If you guys like the outcome of what these Space Jams uh, come out looking like, Hit up my man Bruce Jackson. Bruce's Instagram is at Backfist Customs. Uh, I'll have that below on the links for you as well, uh, so that way you're able to contact him. Uh, today I'm just trying to get my daughter laced uh, in some nice glitter Jordan 11. So, uh, with that said, here's a game plan. All right. So my daughter, her name's Layla. She is probably one of the most difficult clients that I could have because uh, number one, she's outspoken. Uh, number two, she says whatever is on her mind. And number three, if she doesn't like it, she's not wearing it. Simple as that. So, uh, you know, I've tried to lace her out before on a pair of Jordan 6s. Uh, I did a really cool galaxy print because she loves pink and purple. Uh, I thought, man, she's going to love these. And she didn't wear them at all. So uh, that's the kind of uh, client I'm dealing with today. Uh, again, she's probably my most difficult client to deal with. So uh, with that said, I've got to make sure that when I'm making these customs happen, that I do my best to ensure that the quality and craftsmanship is there regardless of the client's age. I definitely want to get her laced out in a dope pair of J's. Um, she's more than deserving of it, and she's been doing an excellent job at school, so she deserves it. So with that said, guys, Layla, let's get you laced. All right, guys, so we're back, and I'm here with the pair of Space Jams, and I saved you guys the time and hassle of watching me watch paint dry but uh, let me show you guys what I just did I taped off the top uh, upper and I taped off the bottom sole portion here just just the sides actually and all I did guys was I just sprayed the patent leather portion with a nice white layer okay that's all I did just use some Angelus white paint uh, just ended up using some adhesion promoter before and I just sprayed the whole base coat just a light layer of white and I'll tell you why I did that now what I'm planning on doing is I want to lace this whole patent leather portion out with glitter but I want it to be a light glitter so if you have a light glitter and you have a black background it's not gonna pop as much so you need to have a nice white background so for example if I do a pink in the in the middle of this thing then I need to make sure that the, the background behind it is also a light pink that matches that color so what, what that does is it just kind of helps hide any imperfections. With that said guys, I'm gonna be painting a silverish rainbow color in the front. The top portion, the upper, I've already prepped it with Angelus Prepare and Deglazer. This portion here has all been cleaned off. I use just a Q-tip because it's such a small area. The fiber portions, or the mesh portion here, I didn't do anything to it. It's a brand new shoe, it's clean, it's ready to go. So I'm gonna start with that guys. I have uh, some black, I'm sure you guys could see this because it's pretty thick some black looking glue stuff so I'm gonna apply this first on the upper I'm gonna be using a brush that I don't give a shit about it's this brush here that I found uh, it was on the ground or something I, I don't even know why I have this brush because the bristles are all, all messed up on it but it's perfect for gluing so I'll use it as a glue brush and then I've got some glitter right here and I'm not gonna tilt it all the way you guys gotta just trust me on this one I've got some glitter right there and that glitter is what will go on the upper, so we're gonna make the whole upper, um, uh, hopefully a, a glitter black. So it'll look pretty much the same, except just be popping now. It should be blingy. Um, couple things to note, guys. With this brush, all I'm gonna do is lay a very light layer on top of the fabric portion. I'm gonna avoid the sock liner in the 45. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave that alone just because, you know, it's flexible, and I think that uh, for Layla, you know, running around and stuff, 
I don't want that to either chip off or come off. So I want to make sure the custom is still wearable for her and that you know she can comfortably wear it without having to worry about creasing it or, or, or you know glitter coming off. If it comes off, it comes off. It's not a big deal. I'll, I'll, I'll repaint it. But uh, with that said guys, let me jump on this uh, top portion here. I'm going to just move the first shoe over here to the side and I'm going to just slowly start to take in some paint here and let's let's pray for me huh it's important when you guys start painting this glue on you make sure that you get it saturated everywhere guys because the glue is what's going to hold the actual glitter and again the reason I, I'm using a black here is because when I lace out the actual shoe I want to make sure that the backing is the same color so since I'm putting black glitter here on the top black uh, base with this black glue and then I'm gonna test out the glitter and let's see what it looks like alright so the first portion guys is pretty much done I'm gonna start lacing this with glitter uh, I heard this gets messy, so hopefully I know what I'm doing here. Let me put this glue brush down first. And from what I understand, we should have another plate or something underneath it. This might be too small, but we'll figure that out as we go too, right? All right, so from what I understand, I'm supposed to just submerge all of the glitter onto the area and basically just saturate it. So all I'm doing guys, I'm just tapping the top of the, the plate just to get a little bit of sprinkle down below. And I'm just going through and really getting, trying to, trying to lay it down evenly is really what I'm trying to do. All right guys, I'm almost done here. I'm just going to finish this last portion and then we'll give it a, a shake off. We've got to shake off the excess. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just flip it very gently, take off the excess. You guys can see the excess coming off. I give it a pat on the back. It's pretty dope. It's already coming together like pre, I mean, I, I think that looks really nice. Let's keep going through. I'm gonna just go through that side, go through that area, and that tongue right there, I'm gonna just leave it as is, and I got some plans for that as well, so. Out of sync, out of sight, out of mind, gotta think, lot of ink, kinda dry, bada boom, bada bing, daily grind, ride, shine, working out the office now, made a little money, now my old man's is prouder now, test drive the BMs, now I'm off on weekends, been like five months since I was blowing on them weed blends, maybe I'm a grown man, maybe I'm a system slave, artist from the hardest, the hardest for this to get you paid, give a struggle rapper a shovel, tell him to dig his grave, laying in the bed. He made stuck in dead off as he played a lot of L's getting raped up on that river card Yeah, shut Peter broke life will make you shiver hard All right guys, so um, This is the finished product of the black portion of the uppers here. Uh, I think they came out pretty fresh Super clean so far um, Wasn't that difficult to do did get a little bit messy uh, But that's okay. I figured you know glitter would get messy. That's why I took my jacket off um with that said, guys, I gotta jump onto the next portion here. Uh, let's get this thing all wrapped up. So this is uh, the final result. I ended up doing the bottom in like a hologram silver, and I ended up doing the black, all, all the top black up, right? Just kept the Space Jam black color on the top, and I just laced it out so you guys could see. Man, this was a tedious process, I'll tell you. All right, guys, so we're back, and uh, I finally had the opportunity to take off the tape. And so we can start to see what the final product is getting to look like here. And uh, I, I do see some uh, kind of spots, splotchy areas. So I'm gonna just go back through real quick, touch up both the, the black and the silver before I start to hit this jump man here, the blue jump man in the front and the blue jump man on the side. So uh, again, guys, I'm gonna do the exact same process I've been doing. These companies trying to sell me like I'm Barristan Start with my craft, get it ghost like Kerrigan There is no comparison, first gen American We on the same side, Reggie Wayne, Marvin Harrison I'm a young man who kinda old school reminiscent Playing NES and all my cousin Sega Genesis Search me on the internet, you find that I've been in this Fighting sense is tingling, my nemesis is venomous Peace to broke musicians making tips upon the promenade Rich rappers still slaves rocking oh, Let's practice the smile one more time, let me see a nice big smile cool and say what's up guys like this 
What's up, guys? Right. This is Layla from Forget Threads. I'm gonna be making these into these. Perfect. Now I have something to tell you. You remember I told you that I did have a surprise for you. We're gonna work on the shoes together. Okay? Is that cool? You wanted to work on the shoes with me, correct? You don't work on the shoes with me? So I gotta do all the work? <laughs> okay, I have some good news. I already did all the work. Yesterday night, I made the shoes for you while you were in the house. I want you to open the box and check your new shoes out. <laughs> what do you think? I like it! Yeah? So I'm going to be copying these? Uh, those are yours, baby. I'm gonna be copying them? No, you're not gonna be copying them. You're gonna just be working on them with me because we gotta finish them up. You wanna finish them up with me? Yeah. What do you think about making the bottom pink? Yeah. So, Lila, tell me about your new shoes. What do you think about them? I like these. And um, when we're done finishing these, we're gonna do these, and I'm so happy. You're so happy? And, and you think we're gonna do another pair of Space Jams? Yeah. I don't think so, buddy. That took a long time to do those. And it was really, really messy. I want to keep the space shoes and these. I like them both. You like them both? Yeah, okay. it's so hard to choose which one I like more. So what do you think? Uh, you're going to wear these to school or where are you going to wear them to? Usually when I go to Fox's more or Cha-Cha's house. Okay, and who's Cha-Cha? My uncle. Oh, your uncle. Okay, so either Fox Hills Mall. Why are you going to wear them to Fox Hills Mall for? I want um, your cool friends to see. Oh, I got cool friends? Yeah. Perfect. Do you love Dad? Yeah. I love you, baby. And I'm going to get a sample. You're going to get a sample of what? Pretzel. Don't tell everybody we get free samples. <laughs> <laughs> love you, baby. Love you. Um, so you guys got a chance to see Layla's reaction. The shoes came out looking pretty phenomenal. Uh, we are going to... We did pink out the little jump man here. I hope you guys appreciated uh, the glitter kind of uh, custom I did here. Uh, if you guys appreciate this actual episode, please hit that subscribe button. It's, it's right down below. Please give us a like if you, if you like these. And uh, again, guys, if you want to see more of my work, it's at shopfeelgood.com. We also have uh, high street apparel as well, high fashion street apparel uh, for you guys. We're made here in Los Angeles, California and everything is cut and sewn pretty much from scratch. So, you know, you're getting some good quality products just like our customs. Uh, with that said, guys, my name is Suhil with Feel Good Threads, and I'm out of here. Peace. Give a struggle rapper a shovel, tell him to dig his grave Laying in the bed he made, sucking dead off as he played A lot of L's getting raped up on that river card Gas yeah, shut, the heater broke, life will make you shiver hard Past blunts in the past, smoking in my boy's garage Bullshit and politic and dreaming, it's a damn mirage We couldn't handle ours, got a grip like handlebars Throw my shit on wax, see the heater make the candle gone Rap to me is easy now, CB known to ramble on But I'm still the same, bro, shop at Vons with sandals on Copping food for thought, cause thinking is in recession now do this from my heart that mean my art is in progression now plow